Shirley Jackson's short story unfolds in a seemingly idyllic, small-town setting where a ritualistic lottery is held annually. The narrative begins with a picturesque description of a sunny day in June, which starkly contrasts with the dark events that are about to unfold. This juxtaposition establishes an unsettling atmosphere from the outset, as the normalcy of the setting becomes a foil for the story's horrific climax. The story begins by depicting the townspeople gathering for the lottery with a casual, almost festive air. Jackson's portrayal of the townspeople, friendly and conversational, serves to underscore the story's central irony. The casual conversation about mundane topics and the relaxed demeanor of the characters, including the mention of children playing and gathering stones, sets up an expectation of a benign or even positive event. However, this facade masks the true nature of the lottery, which is revealed to be a ritualistic practice involving human sacrifice. Jackson's exploration of tradition and conformity is central to the story. The townspeople participate in the lottery without question, driven by a blind adherence to tradition. This unexamined continuation of an outdated practice illustrates the power of social norms and the ease with which individuals can commit atrocious acts under the guise of tradition. The story critiques the way communities cling to harmful customs simply because they have always been done that way. The ritual's continuation despite its brutality reflects a chilling commentary on the dangers of conformity and the dehumanizing effect of societal pressure. The climax of the story is both shocking and poignant. As the lottery progresses, the sense of normalcy is gradually stripped away, revealing the grim reality of the ritual. The townspeople's casual demeanor as they prepare to stone one of their own reveals a horrifying level of desensitization and normalization of violence. The revelation that the winner of the lottery is chosen to be stoned to death is delivered with a chilling calmness that amplifies the story's impact. Jackson's portrayal of the crowd's reaction, including the protagonist's own family, underscores the extent to which the lottery has become an accepted, albeit horrific, part of their lives. The story's symbolism plays a crucial role in its thematic depth. The lottery itself symbolizes the random and arbitrary nature of violence and the dark underbelly of societal norms. The black box used in the lottery represents the tradition's antiquated and morbid nature. It is worn and splintered, symbolizing how the ritual has outlived its usefulness but continues due to inertia and reluctance to change. The stones that the townspeople gather and use for the stoning symbolize the collective power of the community to enact violence upon an individual, reflecting the dangers inherent in collective actions driven by unexamined traditions. Jackson's use of foreshadowing and irony enhances the story's impact. The seemingly benign setting and the friendly interactions among townspeople serve to mislead the reader until the story's shocking conclusion. The story's gradual buildup of tension, combined with the stark contrast between the setting and the climax, heightens the sense of horror and reveals the depth of the community's moral blindness. Ultimately, Jackson's story is a powerful critique of the human capacity for cruelty and the dangers of blind adherence to tradition. It forces readers to confront uncomfortable truths about the nature of societal norms and the potential for ordinary people to commit extraordinary acts of violence when those acts are sanctioned by tradition. The chilling narrative prompts reflection on the nature of human behavior and the ways in which communities can perpetuate harmful practices under the guise of maintaining order and tradition. Through its unsettling portrayal of a ritualized act of violence, the story serves as a stark reminder of the potential for darkness within human society.